I'm Dave Jenkins Jr., also known as Not A Boy's Name. Today I am remixing Annie Hamilton's Panic for Happy Magazine. I'll be using Live 11 to put all this together. So one of my favorite new features in Live 11 is the hybrid reverb. I've started using that on everything. I've found that it just ticks all the boxes. Basically what it is, is a mixture of the convolution reverb from Max for Live with a bunch of great new features like EQ and different uh, reverb modes. Basically what I'm gonna do is use that on an arpeggiator that I recorded earlier on my Dave Smith MoFo X4. And it sounds like this with nothing on it. The first thing I'm going to do is add this dotted eighth note delay to give it a bit of movement. And I'm using the Dirty Synth Room preset, but the algorithm that I'm gonna put it on is the Shimmer, which is this one here. And that adds a really nice harmonic resonance. I'm gonna start that at 0% on the mix side so you can hear it dry, and then you'll hear when I start to bring it in what it does. And basically what I'm going for is like a constant drone pad type synth layer. Something that I can side chain and bring in and out just to give the mix some movement and also some width. Okay, now I'm gonna put the hybrid reverb on some drums. This is a loop of me playing drums that was recorded at the Grove Studios. It's pretty cool, it's pretty tight, it's pretty dry, but I kind of want to add a bit of vibe. I'm gonna open up the hybrid reverb. There's a few drum presets. I always find it's good to just start with a preset and then mess it up. That's cool, that's kind of like a 80s gated kind of thing. I really like that. And so what I might do is drive that up to 100% wetness. Then I can mix that with my dry drums. And there's just a hint, just a hint of the hybrid reverb there. Uh, but it's adding a lot of space in that kind of digital 80s sort of hybrid way that we love. Next up is the chorus ensemble. I love chorus. I put chorus on everything. I put chorus on things that probably shouldn't have chorus on them, like hi-hats, uh, which is what I'm gonna do now. And we'll go to ensemble mode, and let's hear how that sounds. There we go, now we're starting to get a bit of movement.
some weird panning vibes on the hi-hats, which I like. I just general modulation I'm a big fan of. More is more, sometimes. I'm gonna be using the new comping feature, which basically speeds up the whole process of comping. Now they've embedded this process that is super quick and super creative. And I'm gonna be using it in an unconventional sense. I'm not gonna be using it to comp vocals or guitars or drums or anything like that. I'm gonna be using it to build a new part from a few different guitar takes. <laughs> Now I'm gonna expand the take lanes, go down to show take lanes, and that's gonna give me all the takes that I just performed in all of their glory. Now what I can do is I can go through and I can listen to each one individually. So say I wanna to listen to this take, the second take. But what I'm gonna do for the purpose of this experiment is I'm going to use little bits and pieces of all of them to create one wacky master take. So I'm just going to go through. I'm going to assume everything that I've done was awesome. And I'm just going to use one beat in every bar in the hopes that I land on something wacky. Let's have a listen to what that sounds like. <laughs> Okay, it's a thing. What I might do is add a little uh, side chain to that. I'm gonna use the glue compressor. I'm gonna whack it on there. And I'm going to side chain to my kick drum. Pretty intensely, I think. I'm gonna keep messing with that and uh, I'm thinking I can add something really cool to this remix. I hope you enjoy the end product, whatever that may be. For now, let's do this. <laughs> 